Welcome to Mathematics with Ams, Grade 8, Lesson on expon Exponents, namely Scientific Notation. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. The decimal number system is a system based on powers of 10 as place values. In a decimal table, the place value of any column is one tenth of the place value of a column to its left and 10 times the place value of a column to its right. Look at the example. Have a look at the number 1245,367. Then the one represents the thousands, that is 1 times 1000, which is 1 times 10 cube. The two represents the hundreds, which is 2 times 100, which is 2 times 10 squared. Then the four represents the tens which of course is 40 or 4 times 10 or 4 times 10 to the power 1 and then of course you get your decimal comma then the 3 represents 3 tenths which is 3 times 1 over 10 the hundreds is the 6 which is 6 hundreds which is 6 times 100 and the 7 represents the thousands which of course is 7 over 1000 which is 7 times a thousand now, large numbers in words, like 10 to the power 1 is just 10. 10 to the power 2 is 100, which is 100. 10 to the power 3 is 1,000. 10 to the power 6 is a million. 10 to the power 9, of course, is known as a billion. And of course, 10 to the power 12 is known as a trillion. It is not easy to read or write very large numbers. Large numbers have many digits, so they are not easy to read and take a long time to write down accurately. These large numbers are also difficult to compare, to add, to subtract, to multiply and to divide. Now to solve this problem, scientists and mathematicians have developed a method of representing very large numbers that makes them easier to work with. This method is called scientific notation. A number written in scientific notation is written as a significant multiplied by a power of 10. To convert from decimal notation to scientific notation, the general form is the significant, which is the S, times 10 to the power of N. Step 1. If there is no decimal comma, imagine there is one at the end of the number. Step 2. Count how many places to the left you need to move the decimal comma until there is only one digit on the left of the decimal comma. Step 3. The number of places you have moved the decimal comma gives the power of 10 by which you need to multiply the significant. Example, like 35. If I move the comma once to the left, remember the comma is just behind the 5. I get 3 comma 5 times 10. If I take 350, the comma will move two places. So therefore, 10 to the power 2. 3,5 times 10 to the power 2. Remember, we only want one significant digit in front of the comma. 3,500, the comma must move three times. So therefore, 3,5 times 10 to the power of 3. 35 million, for instance. So it's 3,5 times 10 to the power of 7. Right, let's look at the following example. The weight of the moon is basically, now, now, I'm sure you all will struggle to read out that huge number. So I'm not even going to try. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and change this into scientific notation. So remember, you only need one number in front of the decimal comma. So therefore, 7,35. And then you count how many times the comma must move and you'll notice it's exactly 21 times so therefore 10 to the power of 21 N number three the uh, light travels a distance of and again i'm not going to take a chance in reading that number because i will just make a fool of myself but i can convert this into scientific notation again the comma must write just after the nine so nine comma four six and then if you count how many times must the comma move it will move 12 times, so therefore 9,46 times 10 to the power of 12. Let us convert the following 
from scientific notation back to decimal notation. So we now we're gonna reverse the process. So when you convert from scientific notation to decimal notation, the exponent n in the formula s times 10 to the power n tells you how many places to the right to move the decimal comma. So example, 3,5 times 10, there's only one 10, so it's 10 to the power one, so the comma only moves one, so therefore 35. We stand to the power two, the comma must move twice, so I need to add a zero to get me 350. If we stand to the power three, then the comma must move three times, so I'll need to add two more zeros to give me 3,500. And if it's seven, I need to add seven to give me 35 million. Multiply 7,000 by 6,000 without using a calculator and give the answer in scientific notation. So first convert each one to scientific notation. Like 7,000 is 7 times 10 to the power 3, 60,000 is 6 times 10 to the power 4, then you multiply the 7 times 6 is 42, and then of course 10 to the power 3 times 10 to the power 4 is 10 to the power 7, so therefore the answer is then, remember the comma must still move one space to the left, so 4,2 times 10 to the power of 8. Simplify the next one, 4,8 times 10 to the power 9 over 2 times 10 to the power 2. So you first divide 4,8 by 2, that gives you 2,4. And then of course 10 to the power 9 divided by 10 to the power 2 is 10 to the power 7. So therefore the answer is 2,4 times 10 to the power of 7. The diagram below shows the distances of the planets from the Sun. So like Mercury is 58 million kilometers from the Sun, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Each got its own distance. Again, I'm not even going to attempt calling out the numbers. So you must write the distance in scientific notation from Mars to the Sun. So if you look at Mars to the Sun, you'll notice it is 2,278 and the comma must move 8 places to the left. Mass to Mercury, you will notice it is 2,278. Sorry, it is mass to Mercury is 5,8 times 10 to the power of 7. And then which planet is the closest to the Sun? It is obviously Mercury. Right, so let's quickly recap. So the decimal number system is a system based on powers of 10 as place values. To solve this problem, scientists and mathematicians have developed a method of representing very large numbers that makes them easy to work with. This method is called scientific notation. To convert from decimal to scientific notation, you need a significant, that means one number in front of a decimal comma, times 10 to the power n. Power of 10, convert from scientific notation to decimal. Right, this is Ahmed Suleiman with Mathematics with M's. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free.